As we make our way to the first linebacker of this offseason's draft cycle, it is only fitting that we cover the Buckus Award winner and now national champion, N'Kobe Dean. We are going to cover his strengths, his weaknesses as we take a look at some film, and then we're going to list some teams that I think should target him in the first round, go over his NFL comparison, and predict his success in the league. There is a lot to cover, so let's get right into it. Some things that are worth mentioning beforehand is the 6 foot 225 pound linebacker had 15 games in his 2021 season and he accumulated 72 tackles, 10.5 tackles for loss, 6 sacks, 2 forced fumbles, 2 interceptions, 5 pass breakups, and opposing quarterbacks had a 30.7 QB rating when he was targeted in coverage. He was also first team all SEC and first team all American. And really some of his strengths have to do with the great balance he has of affecting the run and the pass game. Having the triple threat of being great in coverage, being violent and getting after the quarterback quickly while blitzing, and being super rangy, being able to run sideline to sideline in the run game, which makes him a three down backer. So the first bit of highlights we're going to look at is his ability in the pass game as a pass rusher. And he did have a lot of success blitzing from the linebacking position, especially on the inside. This is where we get to see a lot of his strengths, but also some of his weaknesses. He doesn't have the raw power and strength to bull rush linemen like a Micah Parsons does, and he doesn't have the length like a Darius Leonard to win at the point of contact. But he uses his explosiveness and athleticism to attack one side of the lineman's body, be faster, and completely outleverage them because if he attacks one side of their body, he can just absolutely bull rush right through them. And we got to see this over and over again, him being the cause of inner interceptions on this play just being faster and more athletic and it says he runs a 4-5-2 but watching his tape I wouldn't be surprised at the combine if we saw him in the mid to high 4-4 range but he's able to make side steps and just be able to completely penetrate the middle of the field just being a lot faster and more agile than a lot of these linemen. And with a smaller frame, he knows he's not going to be able to outpower or win the point of contact with linemen but this is not the case when he has a bob block on him and what a bob block is is right here. This is a Bob block back on backer. And he knows he's a lot stronger than these running backs. So whenever he sees this, he attacks them and pushes them right back into the quarterback and has a lot of success with this. So as we go back on this play, we're going to be able to see the tight end. He's going to chip and then release on his route, leaving the line running back right on him. And he's just going to outpower him. So he does have this in his arsenal and he's going to use it when it calls for it. So on a play like this, when he's rushing through and they're going to send the blitz and it only has the running back on him, he's going to be able to run right through them and cause havoc in the backfield. And we even see how he's able to come combo moves together. So he's going to punish the running back right off the bat. The running back does a good job even though he's driving back and he combos it with a spin move to also disrupt this pass from the quarterback. So that's how he impacts the passing game from the blitzing perspective. He shoots the gaps, has great instincts, and always seems to know where the quarterback is at or where he's going to be. But one of his biggest strengths is what we're about to cover, and that is his range. From the linebacking position, if you are going to be undersized, we saw consistently on film him being able to cover sideline to sideline. I mean, he's the backside backer on the option, speed option play to the opposite side of the field, and he's able to make all the way over there to make this. He has great pursuit angles. He's able to extend the play and really funnel out the running backs to the sideline and I don't know his background extensively but he has to have a wrestling background because he is one of the most sure tacklers he has a great tackling percentage especially in the open field and this is what you want from a three down backer you want him to be able to blitz the quarterback get after him in a hurry and be able to be all over the field because he just has a knack through his football IQ and through his speed and athleticism to always be around the football and how he passes the passing game when he's in coverage is almost equally impressive. So right now you see him at the bottom of your screen. And I know the hashes in college are wider, so this is going to be a long throw. But the running back has like eight yards of separation. They're going to try and run a quick hitch route. And there is N'Kobe Dean undercutting it. He has great instincts. He has great burst and change of direction. And he's able to follow running backs out of the backfield and almost be hip to hip on them. Even though the running back drops it on this play, he's going to get the interception. But this play is going for nowhere. It's going to be third and two. But how well he's able to cover this in man-to-man, -man, there's no way this was going to be the first down because he is such a great tackler, as we mentioned before. And being in zone coverage, third and seven, keeping the shallow stuff underneath you, run up and attack the ball and get them before the line of contact. And on this play right here, he's going to be the off man, and he's going to be able to change direction and be the person to make the play on this coming off of his man. Very impressive. And when you are going to be asked to guard tight ends one-on-one -on -one in the slot, he can absolutely do this as well, be able to make this great pass break 
breakup, almost get the interception. But as we see this angle, we see he's almost like a mini slot nickel DB on how he plays on this. He's able to read this perfectly, break almost as good as the tight end does on this play, keep calm and composed when the ball's in the air and make this amazing pass breakup. And just as aggressive and effective he is in the blitzing game going up the middle as he is in the run fit game. Able to shoot the gaps and cause havoc, yes, actually causing a forced fumble here in the college football playoffs. But he's going to fill his gaps and this is where he does come into the problem if linemen are able to get these combo blocks and get to the second level. But he is so fast, he is so athletic, he can usually out angle or out pursue. Or if a lineman does get to him, he's able to out leverage them like we saw exactly the way he does in the blitzing game. But he's really good in the run fit and again, a very short or tackler. And teams are going to want to capitalize on his over-aggressive play style like they did here in the national championship game. Alabama is going to try and get all this misdirection, and this is probably going to be a touchdown if N'Kobe Dean doesn't have the football instincts that he does. He's not going to fall for this end around. He's going to know his read, know his keys, and stick right on Bryce Young and completely blow up this play single-handedly. And now it's going to be an incompletion rather than a touchdown. And this is just ridiculous. This is such a well-drawn play up by Kentucky. So what they're going to do is they're going to pull the guard. They're going to pull the tackle. And that's what linebackers are supposed to do. They're supposed to read their running keys. And when you see pulling guards and tackles, that usually means run. But N'Kobe Dean it almost fools every single other person on this Georgia defense except N'Kobe Dean. So watch he's, how he's able to single-handedly blow up this play with his football IQ. They're going to run a play action. They're going to pull the guard and pull the tackle. Everyone on the Georgia defense is funneling to the right because that's where everyone thinks it's going. N'Kobe Dean sniffs out this screen, is able to beat all three linemen blocking and being able to make a tackle for loss. I feel so bad for Kentucky because more than likely this should have been a touchdown for how beautiful this play design was. But when you have a guy like N'Kobe Dean out there, he is going to cause havoc and completely mess up your game plan. And it very rarely happens, but it does happen, so we have to point it out. N'Kobe Dean is right here. He's going to shoot the gap beautifully. This is going to be a tackle for loss, and he comes in like a bat out of hell to get a tackle for loss on this play. But he comes in a little out of control. The running backs are able to make a great spin move on this, and that's just going to happen. It, more than likely than not, it's going to pay off for him, and sometimes you're going to get got. This is a really great athlete here in the backfield, but we have to mention that sometimes he can come a little bit too out of control. If he were to come right in the hole and and just absolutely stuff it and make the running back move instead of trying to get those extra two yards tackle for loss. He might have been able to make a play on this, but unfortunately, he what he did get got on this play. So when talking about N'Kobe Dean, some of his strengths to go over again, he is extremely explosive, very athletic. I think he's going to run a mid to high 4 forward in the combine. He has over a 41 inch vertical. He's able to get downhill, have great football instincts, and seems to always be around the ball. He's great in coverage, he's great at blitzing, and he's even better in the run game, being able to cover sideline to sideline. Now where some of his weaknesses are, he is smaller in frame, so linemen do give him trouble if they're able to square up with him. He isn't like a Darius Leonard or like a Micah Park like I said, that's able to block shit super easily. That's why I think his comparison could be a Patrick Queen. We could throw in Micah Parsons in there, but only half of what Micah Parsons is able to do. He's not going to be an edge rusher like Micah Parsons is, and he's not going to overpower into your offensive lineman. That's why I could see him be have another player comparison to like a Levante David. Now talking about where he could go in the draft, and I see him slipping, but I think this is more due to need of teams and what positions they need rather than the talent of Nicobe Deem. I see him going 19 to the Eagles and I think this would be an absolute perfect pickup for the Eagles I think a lot of other team need edge rushers they need wide receivers they need a quarterback and so N'Kobe Dean by fit I think could go to a playoff team and be an instant impact and I would love this pick for the Eagles because I think he can absolutely fly around fit right into perfectly in their defensive scheme and be a huge day one impact player but let me know what you guys think that's what I think about N'Kobe Dean if you like this video make sure to leave a like make sure to subscribe if you enjoy daily sports content. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. And as always, I will see you all tomorrow. Peace.